Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, I'll show you how to get started with the DevExpress ASP.NET tree list. First, add it to your ASP.NET page from the Visual Studio Toolbox. You'll find it under the DX Data and Analytics category, or you can use the Search Toolbox feature and type the name of the control. Now let's drag and drop the control on the page. To data bind it, from the tree list smart tag, choose the new data source option. You can data bind to any of the standard Microsoft data sources, DevExpress data sources, and anything that returns an ienumerable interface. Select SQL data source and click OK. Create a new SQL connection. I'll connect with my local SQL Server Express database and select the department's database. Test the connection and click OK. Next, save the connection. Now from the departments table, let's select the ID, parent ID, department, budget, location, and phone one fields. Now click the advanced button and check the generate insert, update, and delete statements checkbox. This generates the SQL statements that will allow the tree list to modify the database records. Then click next and test the query. Finally, Click Finish. And that's it. You've just set up an ASP.NET tree list bound to SQL data in about a minute. Now let's take a look at this in the browser. We have a beautiful and functional tree list control that fits easily into an existing ASP.NET project. The tree list allows you to easily expand and collapse the rows with stylish icons that are unique with each theme. You can also sort the data in ascending or descending order by clicking on the column header, and even provide sorting of multiple columns. You can also move any column by dragging it to another location. The ASPX tree list provides you with a quick way to get started with powerful features. Let's add some more features to the tree list and head back to the design view. We'll take a look at the handy smart tag that allows you to enable and configure powerful features with ease. Let's enable paging, focus node, row selection, auto expand all nodes, editing, inserting, deleting, and node dragging. The tree list UI is automatically adjusted for you as you enable these features. You can also set the theme, client side functionality, plus modify the templates from the smart tag menu. Let's explore the columns editor. This dialog lets you customize the columns in detail. The toolbar at the top allows you to insert, delete, and modify the column types. Let's replace the budget column. First, we'll remove it by selecting it and clicking the Remove the Item Tool button. Now we'll insert a new column type, Spin Edit, which gives us a spin editor that's great for editing numeric values, as we'll see in a moment. Now I'll set the field name property to Budget, and it will be data bound to our field in the database table. I'll also set its Display Format String property to C0. This will display the budget column as a currency value, and set the increment to 5000. Let's also move the command column, which holds the edit, insert, and delete buttons to the top. This will display it first, which means on the left side of our tree list. I'll also add two new columns. The first will be bound to ID and the second to parent ID. Now let's explore the properties pane. The ASPX tree list has a very intuitive design, so you can find and set a property with ease. For example, the Accessibility Compliant property helps you to set the tree list accessibility feature. The Appearance category of properties allows you to control the look. The Behavior properties allow you to modify the overall feel of the ASPX tree list. For example, Enable Callbacks can be set to False so that the ASPX tree list uses Postbacks instead of Callbacks for interactions with the server. The data category allows you to manage the data source and fields in the ASPX tree list. I can also modify the ID. I'll set it to department tree list. The style properties allow me full control over the look of the ASPX tree list styles in case you want to modify or enhance one of the built-in themes. Let's enable the alternating node property which highlights every other row. And the settings category lets you control many different aspects. Let's have the tree list automatically calculate a summary on the data. Summaries are simple to add. First, let's show the footer area so we have a place for the summaries to be displayed. Then bring up the summary editor. 
Add one summary item. Let's set the field name to department. Summary type to count and shown in column to department. This will give us an overall count of the records in the tree list, even with paging enabled. Now let's go to the source view. Here's the entire tree list source code, including the columns and summaries we defined. You have access to the smart tag from the source view too. And you can set up the ASPX tree list the same way you can from the designer. For example, Let's say I want to set the width of the tree list. As I begin to type, I get IntelliSense, which shows me the available properties. Now I can set the width to 100 pixels or to 100% so that it will fill the width of the element it's located in. Now let's add one more total summary. I'll copy the previous one and paste it below. Then I'll set the field name to budget, shown in column to budget, summary type to sum, and also add the display format type. This will give us the sum of all budgets in the tree list. I can also modify a column. Let's set a different header text for the phone one column. I'll set the caption property to phone. Let's run our ASPX tree list in the browser again. Now the tree list has filled the entire width of the element and our phone column caption is updated. We can page through the data with page number links or the left and right buttons. I can also easily edit a row. The budget editor is now a spin control that increments in $5,000 amounts as we specified. And we can also type in a value directly. Click update to save the values. Notice that our count and budget summary is displayed in the footer and automatically calculated by the tree list. We displayed the ID and parent ID so that you can see how the tree list creates its tree hierarchy. And that's it. The DevExpress ASPX tree list is a fast, powerful, and beautiful tree control with features just like a grid. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.